Hello there. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, as we are already in a new, brand new decade, I want to actually share with you guys what is my fashion evolution looks like. So from 2010 till 2019, how did my fashion style elevated or changed or never changed? Things like that. So I want to share with you guys on that. And if you guys don't mind, let's get straight to the video. So uh, starting from 2010, to be honest with you guys, my um, styling sense uh, really, really came to picture when I when the year of 2011, when I actually started to work. So before that, it was like very casual and nothing so bizarre. Uh, maybe one, two events like for an in a year, maybe like one, two events, I would actually dress up uh, and I can't find any pictures except for this one where I took with my siblings and in this picture, I actually wore a skirt with a t-shirt like blouse and uh, heels. So pretty much, if you ask me, I would definitely wear this outfit now because um, the skirt is not too long and it's not too short and uh, if i have this kind of a body now definitely i would rock the top uh, the blouse as well and i remember that i also wear something inside because my style uh, from what i can see in the evolution as well uh, it's basically more like a tomboyish and also to the other extreme of girly so i can be very girly at one time and i can be very tomboyish at another time so it's like a mix from there and also I'm a person who like to dress up a bit modest since the beginning. I don't like to wear something very short. I don't really wear short shorts. I don't wear mini skirts and I don't wear uh, tops that can exp expose my uh, breast or my cleavage. Uh, even till today I don't have cleavage like the so uh, and that is my style that is my personal style and you can do yourself you can wear whatever that you want that you like that you feel comfortable with but this is basically my style i like to be more modest and also wear a little bit things that covered the the, the trend that i uh, think that i go beyond modest is the trend crop top so i like to wear crop top and i like to wear like high waist skirt or high waist pants and show a little bit of uh, stomach and that is the most um, very sexy kind of a look I will rock but the other looks is very modest kind of look so in this picture if you ask me I would definitely definitely wear this kind of style even today so as I told you guys my style started to elevate in 2011 when I was 24 years old I graduated that year for my degree and I started to work so when I started to work I started to explore more uh, styles I read more magazine I read magazine like from 18 years old and I wanted to everything was in my mind uh, I wanted to do I want to style up everything but I couldn't because I was a student I don't had that much of money to spend uh, in the first place uh, so I had my other priorities and when I started to work still with my priorities and my commitment but I started to save some for style uh, solely for style so in 2012 before we go to 2012 I have another picture of 2010 as well where I was in university I was attending some kind of a event I think you can see me at the corner there I've already circled myself you see I, I'm wearing a cardigan a t-shirt and then a jeans that is pretty much what I wear uh, in uni life and um, after that uh, I also will show you guys a where the style started in 2011 it's basically from my convocation I wore this beautiful sari now turned into a Punjabi shirt and if you guys want a dedicated video with your old saris you don't know how to style them you already wear them too many times and you don't want to wear them as sari what are the other options that you can recycle them and use them and style them in a different way you can let me know in the comment down below I might do a video like that if you are interested and then uh, basically my style uh, started to 
come more and more when we started to go out. Uh, this is the photo where I went out with my uni girls. They are my friends. Our team called Pon Muggles. Shout out for them. And if one of the Pon Muggle is actually watching this video, let me know in the comment as well. So I, we went out to Melaka. Melaka is a state in Malaysia where it's more like historical. So I actually styled <coughs> just wearing a checkered uh, shirt with a shorts, Bermuda shorts and a sneaker. Oh, do you call that a sneaker? I think so. Like a white sneaker like that. And a pair of sunglasses so I love this kind of uh, style um, maybe now uh, I'm doing more like this kind of style because I have a son and I always want to be matchy matchy with him so I do more like this kind of tomboy style but I really like that kind of style and then also the same trip I wore this short uh, with a t-shirt and just a scarf and Pretty much that is my overall style and also we had a dinner date and I when when there's a dinner date I will be waiting for any event that's like a dinner type uh, wedding reception things like that to actually wear dress because I love to wear dress and if there's an opportunity to wear dress I will definitely wear a dress with a heels so that's what I'm rocking there and then as you can see the next photo back to shirt skirt and the same sneakers so that is my style and you can see in 2012 I actually also wear a dress and a heels and a matchy hairband for that so my my style is always evolved in this kind of uh, uh, fashion as you can see the next photo with a cardigan with a dress and with a heels so and with a heaven I used to wear a lot of heaven at that time and now I'm also interested this was actually a 2019 trend of wearing the padded uh, headband I might buy it because I am into this kind of uh, headbands and then in 2013 as you can see I went to Hat Nyai with my colleagues and it's a uh, dress uh, with her elastic band on the waist and also a pink flats so I like this kind of uh, trend and then you see from one end of being a, a girly kind of uh, attire I went just jump and then become a toy tomboyish just wearing a sleeveless uh, and a jeans and also a short uh, and a sport shoe so it's like you can you can see that my trend is like going from there and then coming back going there and then coming back it's never in between it's always at one end and then here also with a shirt and um, a shorts and then just a sander, more like a beachy wipe. And then again going back to a little bit more tomboyish kind of, uh, of um, style uh, where I wear a rolled up uh, shirt and also with a shorts. And then I have few photos that it's same, basically same um, uh, style of uh, dressing in 2013 also of course I wear my saris and my Punjabi shoots I will also put that Punjabi shoot in the photo now and and then in 2014 actually if you if you can see my evolution is not so much because this is just a, like a shirt and then with the jeans and then I again wore like a cardigan with a long maxi dress. I started to wear a long maxi dress towards 2014 and onwards because I started to love the way it looks on me. And then again uh, for a very casual kind of a look, just a t-shirt with a shorts. This short is actually a full blown jeans which I cut uh, because uh, the jeans started to have like a edges that is gross. So I cut it into a shorts. I'm not a very big in play suit and jumpsuit things like that but I tried this seems to be okay but then I already uh, remove it from my collection because I don't wear it that often so I decided to remove it and of, of course that I don't fit that well anymore into that kind of a uh, uh, jumpsuit so I decided uh, not to wear that but maybe in future maybe this year I might buy one and might try to wear it and then also for my sister's hands party, uh, I wore this uh, 
plain black i like to wear black i love black so a plain black uh, t-shirt uh, with a checkered skirt i had the checkered skirt for so long and then i decided it's no more appropriate to my age and my body shape now so i decided to get that away talking about the hands party also a very plain uh, red dress which i still have right now with me uh, i love this skirt it's like a, a scuba type of a material with like a, a more like a flary type of a, a dress i like to wear this kind of dress because it doesn't make my bum look as big as it is if you know what i mean And then another uh, example of being tomboyish and punked. Uh, so this is another attire. I still have this um, biker jacket. This biker jacket is not leather. It's a plain cotton uh, jacket material, which is very comfortable. But I'm also looking for a leather jacket. Finger crossed that this year I might get one. And then moving to 2015. The same shirt that I wore in 2014 and then I also uh, wore a skirt which has the bottle, bottom hem with a leather type of uh, material and also with high heels and then I still have that uh, pink bag. It's actually I think a dupe or no a fake uh, Michael Kors uh, handbag. So I still have it right now and it's very good. The, there are bags that is actually from high street already gone already worn off terribly even though i didn't use them as much as i uh, could because it really worn out but this bag till today in a good condition like how how it's a fake how and then 2015 where the year i start to wear more like a shirt dress i even just uploaded in my Instagram a few weeks ago on how to style shirt dress which I got in 2015 I think pretty much I got it in 2014 maybe uh, yeah but I wore more on 2015 so I still have that shirt and I still styling them because they are still in trend and then of course I love this sari and how it looked on me and everything sari is never dies maybe the the way you tie them or the way uh, your blouse pattern is could be different but sari never dies so it's not really an evolution it is there it will be there forever and i'm glad they are i like to wear more like dress as i told you guys even in 2015 more dress but i started to wear more belt to show my waist even smaller uh, during that period of time, I just started to to learn that trend at that time. And also slits, belt and slits. I love to have something, some slits in my attire. Even in today, I still love to have slits. Okay, and again, the jacket uh, shirt with just a plain jeans and also a converse uh, high high rise. It's not high rise, it's um, high, like a wedge, wedge type of sneakers. To be honest with you guys, the wedge type of sneakers, it's more painful than the ordinary heels or the ordinary wedges. It's not comfortable at all. I can tell you just for the price that I bought it, I tried to wear it as much as I could. But if, I, if there was an option not to wear them, I would definitely not wear them. I, I didn't really like it. I think 2015 was a year that I really dressed up and really attend and really went to a lot of events because I have a lot of photos in 2015 and then in 2016 this was the dress that I that my sister bought for me when I was when we celebrated birthday in 2011 and I wore them throughout the year and 2016 I wore them I style up with the belt and also heels so I, I always like to wear what I have in my closet rather than going and getting something and then for my hands party I wore sari and then 2016 where the year 
that I try to because I usually don't wear spaghetti stripe and 2016 where the year I actually started to explore I started to get a little bit more sexier than my ordinary style I start to wear spaghetti stripe spaghetti stripe dress blouse I kind of liked it if you have the body to wear that I think it shouldn't be an issue I love this dress over here this green color dress more like a summer beachy vibe but trust me guys I only wore that at that time I never wore it again maybe because I didn't go out much and I didn't find an event or a holiday that I can wear this but it's still in my closet I still want to have it because who knows maybe 2020 I'm, if I'm going for any vacation I might wear it again the only question now is whether it's going to fit me or not probably not and also like what I said 2016 was the year that I started to get a little bit more sexy a little bit more ex 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 exposing uh, some of my body parts so spaghetti stripe and also this dress is like uh, shoulderless I love this dress and yet this is the only time that I wore that and then pablum pablum came way longer than that but I just started to style them up with the cardigan that I had for years and then again skirt high rise skirt high waisted skirt with simple uh, with the simple uh, tops and then moving on to 2000 and I think this was 2017 where after I delivered my baby boy I started to go back uh, wearing more uh, covered kind of um, uh, attire and also more like a, a tomboyish kind of a look because I want to as I told you matching with my son so this one was a uh, thing like four months after I delivered uh, my baby so I wore this very comfortable very like mummy kind of a look I wanted to uh, like really give uh, how to say like I want to really uh, experiment all these mum kind of trend which to be honest I really enjoyed because they are comfortable and I needed that at that time and then this was my brother's wedding so I wore this sari and also this uh, lenga so it's the same time and then this uh, checkered shirt that I wore so many years if you saw the pictures and I, I can't really put the button because my chest everything got bigger so I still have them and then I tie it make it or not and then wore the same uh, Zara dress that I showed to you guys earlier uh, so that like more like covered kind of uh, style and then this is also um, the traditional type of uh, look and then this one was at 2018 this was my birthday really loved because as you can see the dress is long but it only covers up to your thighs the the inner cloth so it was like uh, sexy but covered uh, also revealing something but not so it was more like that kind of a look I really loved this look and then uh, 2018 also I start to come back to the crop top and then try to wear something that is okay because I start to get back my body I'm wearing something uh, tighter and then uh, from that onwards I started to wear almost like mostly like uh, clothes that is can match with my son which is more like a tomboyish kind of uh, attire and then I really loved again showing off my shoulder wearing a wrap dress but honestly guys people say that wrap dress is very flattering yes they are flattering but they are so difficult to wear they like if you walk you are exposing everything unless you are clipping here and there so for me to wear a wrap dress I'd rather go and buy a full blown dress rather than wearing a wrap dress because maybe in picture it looks so flattering but to wear that cloth to wear that dress oh, it's very difficult so for me wrap dress wrap blouse is a no and then uh, 2019 I started to love this balloon sleeve top they were like all around I was keep on looking and into it I bought it I wore it I totally fell in love with it so I started to wear a lot of uh, balloon sleeve of a uh, type of a top and then this one uh, is a dress like a dress so as you can see the length is 
uh, midi length I like to wear something that is more midi length and which I will also try to incorporate uh, to years to come uh, pleated skirt was another trend last year 2019 so I like that I accept I welcome that trend and also I, I started to wear my older clothes where that skirt is very very old but it's from H&M I don't think so it's available now also I like to wear like it, it's it's actually short but it will lace up or it will has the mesh that covers uh, below the knee and it looks very flattering so I like this kind of uh, skirt I might buy more like this and then again like more to tomboyish actually this is what I was wearing there as well so it's exactly the same and then uh, also like role playing when you go for this like zoo kind of white wear like a, that that uh, white top and uh, jeans short jeans I, I i like that kind of uh, vibe as well again balloon sleeve polka dot i love polka dot and when people announced that 2020 is going to be big going to be big in polka dot i was so so happy because i love polka dot all my life i love i don't know what is about it but i love so i'm very happy that it's coming back and then again very mummy kind of a look just a top shirt jeans shirt and then a simple plain jeans and a white sneaker and then I made her few look like a lookbook kind of a post in Instagram last year uh, with the trends that I like crop top with a um, like a distressed jeans uh, some midi skirts uh, pleated skirts and then a denim jacket denim jacket is something that I wanted so many years but I finally managed to get it in 2019 and then um, again midi skirt which has some uh, panels a peekaboo kind of an effect I love that so that Christmas uh, skirt was the last thing that I wore in 2019 uh, to describe about my style so basically my style this year what is going to be still going to be the same I'm going to uh, maintain my body make it even better but don't stress about it and wear things that are like flattering for me as I can see this a decade analysis is um, midi skirt looks very flattering on me uh, emphasizing the waist part looks good I like the lace lace and the uh, uh, like a peekaboo kind of uh, effect clothes and then polka dot uh, more dresses that is uh, flattering for my shape and I think uh, I think I'm going to explore on shorts as well because maybe I might have a summer holiday coming on so I might want to explore on that so that's it guys I think I hope you like this kind of video where I just sit and chat about some random topics and what is your uh, style evolution from did, is it is it was very drastic kind of uh, uh, differences or it's somewhat the same all the year and it's going to be the same for the next decade so let me know in the comment down below like this video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time when i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye